destination wedding nightmare. Mm. Okay, so going to a destination wedding for someone I've kind of not been mega close with, and they put in parentheses, uh, to keep it vague, there's some things it feels like I owe them on, so I ended up agreeing to go. My husband and I financially found a way to make it work, uh, it being our only vacation of the year. By the way, this person does not have sentence structures. Um, <laughs> Asshole. Asshole. Uh, we figured it would be one to two days spent at the wedding and the rest, it would be time to ourselves. However, this is not the case. It had turned into four days of our slash my time being occupied because she wants 1.5 days before the wedding, one day for the wedding, and 1.5 days after a wedding to do girl stings, etc. Interesting. I, ca I caved and agreed to be a bridesmaid. And they put in parentheses, I, I was asked when everyone else was, but I said no because thought we couldn't afford it. And then got a sob story how no one else could afford to go. So if I still wanted to, I could. So I said yes. And then find out she lied and there's actually eight of them. Okay. All in one sentence. Yeah, God I was going to say, I could see you struggling through that. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> it's just really pissing me off how much of our time she is trying to demand. I'm all for a bachelorette day slash night and the wedding day slash night. But after that, we want to have our own vacation. I don't want to keep doing random like beach bachelorette days the day after your wedding. Why don't you want to spend that with your husband? Sorry to vent, but like God. Every time I try to get out of it, I'm basically told, nope, not an option. We're at the point of just backing out altogether, or I'm just going to go back to being a guest at the wedding, and that's it. Because not only is it $5,000 financial cost, but like four out of five days time cost is just too steep for me. Please tell me I'm not a terrible person. Ha ha. <laughs> I had no ha ha at the end was weird, but um, yes. as someone who just went to a um, uh, at, why am I blanking destination wedding? There we go. Uh, mm -hmm. like this summer. Yeah, I get it. It is expensive. It was our one trip this year, uh, that we did together. Uh, so I, I understand that. However, the bride and groom were like, Hey, we're doing a bachelor bachelorette one night, uh, and then the wedding the other night, and then you can do basically do whatever you want. Now I get, it, it's not the same as a regular vacation because yeah, especially with how we did it, we vacationed with a bunch of people. Um, so I get, it can be a bit more stressful. It's not as much as relaxing, it's not you're relaxing, not, right? You're not getting as much time together. So I, I understand that, but that's something for you to weigh out if you actually think it's worth it or not. Um, yeah. I think, I, I think you kind of suck if you say yes and then say no. Um, that's that uh, you're I mean, ruining like they're like, you know, the plans and essentially what's, what's in place already. Right. Yeah, I get it if you have to say no because, you know, financial things change or, or mm -hmm. whatever, but it sounds like you already were kind of half in at the beginning anyway. So yeah. backing out now would be like kind of shitty, but also I can't blame you if you're trying to balance finances. Uh, as yeah, someone who finances are always, yeah. Yeah, had to buy, balance finances for, for our trip as well. So it's a tough situation. Um, I'm interested to see the other side here. <laughs> cool. Pull up that, uh, pull up that link. My brother, I think I sent it to you on our chat. Let me know if you don't have it. And then I'm gonna need you to like uh scroll past and then start on the um the the text thread that we have. Okay. So let me know when you see it. I'll be the I'll be in the the white box because that's the OP originally of the first perspective. Gotcha. And I'm gonna need you to be the bride, baby boy, because you're about to experience that. Or okay. groom, but you know what I mean. Um perfect. Holy shit. Those meds are expensive as fuck. I couldn't imagine paying that. Yeah. I couldn't imagine paying $5,000 for a destination wedding of someone I didn't like either, but here you are. I'm sorry. What? I'm not stupid, Shannon. I'm on all the wedding subreddits. I always read the posts <laughs> regarding destination weddings and your posts seemed a little too similar, except for the lies you added in. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. I'm very hurt, especially because of my, I thought we were close friends. And then they send a post of the <laughs> as a screenshot of the post. <laughs> uh, don't worry, you don't need to back out because I'm not. I'm doing it for you. You are absolutely no longer a bridesmaid, and you are uninvited from the wedding as well as my life. And then they send us another screenshot uh, where the original OP says, "That's what I'm coming from. Like I just don't understand 
the giant time before and the giant time after. And when I was hesitant, I was berated saying I never liked to leave my husband's side. Uh, and then they say, oh, I berated you. More lies. I see. LOL. Enjoy your vacation. Smiley face. <laughs> so <laughs> is there more? It, it should be. There should be one last one. Oh, there is one more here. Uh, oh, so you have nothing to say now, Shannon. You sure had a lot to say on Reddit. I think the only thing you owe me, whatever the fuck that means, is an explanation for why you think it's okay to pretend to be my friend to my face and then turn around to make up some fantasy about uh, me to get validation from Reddit. So spicy. So Damn. speaking of speaking of spicy, the bridezilla in question actually also wrote something, right? Uh, oh, to shit. Be, uh, to, to, to give a, a little bit more context. So this is what they put. Okay. So um, they put, I'm an active Reddit user. That's one Fuck up by the OP for that one. Yeah, wild not to assume that. <laughs> I'm an active uh, Reddit user on all the wedding subreddits, so anytime I see a post about destination weddings, it piques my interest. Once I realized that could this could possibly be about me, my heart sank. I checked the profile, and sure enough, there were identifiable pictures of my ex bridesmaid bridesmaid's dog, her work information, <laughs> story about her fiance's mom, etc. Um, I sent a screenshot of this to one of my other bridesmaids to ask why they're planning an apparently four-day bachelor party for me since I know they had a group chat where they were all discussing and planning a surprise for me. But she said that this actually is not true at all. <laughs> so she just lied. <laughs> yeah, she just lied for some Reddit sympathy points, Reddit karma, whatever. Crazy. Um, actually, this whole post isn't true at all. So I, of course, confronted my dear bridesmaid, and they put in, in a parenthesis, who I've, by the way, been friends with since middle school, and we text every single day. And she pretended she didn't know what I was talking about while quickly <laughs> deleting everything on her profile. People got screenshots, baby girl. Hell and yeah. here we are <laughs> talking about this shit. <laughs> um, I decided to have some fun and pick apart every lie she told in the post, reminding her that she knew the truth and again asking, why she lied about every single thing. Anyways, I gave her the out that she clearly wanted since I guess her say, uh, her saying how excited she was uh, for my wedding the night before meant that she actually never wanted to be a bridesmaid. Addressing some of the comments, she was already a bridesmaid and she asked how many there are. I told her six to eight, depending on if my two cousins could afford to come. Okay. No, no sob story or lies uh, lies there. I was just answering a question. Me not wanting to spend time with my husband? The day of our wedding is a full romantic day for just the two of us, so I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> she knows the plan. Uh, I have told about her this exactly a few a few days ago. After that, we are spending the most uh, spending the rest of the trip doing excursions and stuff with all of our guests as a group because everyone traveled so far to come celebrate us. Some of our bridesmaids and groomsmen and other guests live halfway across the world, and we haven't seen them in two years. So why would we just go off and ignore everyone when they spent so much time and effort to see us? This isn't our honeymoon, people. We have a romantic honeymoon planned later in 2024. This destination wedding is a time for the people we love to celebrate and our love with us. Yeah, so, so I think that uh, pretty much proves don't read, it, don't believe everything you see on Reddit. Everything on Reddit, <laughs> yeah. And oh. a lot of times, a lot of Reddit uh, Reddit posts could be one sided. So uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it is true. We only get the the one side. Uh, so it's nice to see both sides this time. Um, yeah, I mean, this it's a weird thing to make up all this stuff about just to get some karma points. Seriously, especially like using your real account where it's easily <laughs> traceable back to you. Uh, you should have definitely used a, a anonymous uh, username mm -hmm. and then not used as many details, but crazy. That's crazy. And I mean, yeah, it makes sense that the bride would want to spend time with the people that are going to be there. Um, yeah. When we definitely went, we went on um, uh, the, to the destination wedding this summer, we spent time with the bride and groom some of the days just because it's like, Oh, we haven't seen you guys in a while. You know what I mean? True. So yeah, it's, Everything she asked for seems to be pretty normal ask uh, yeah. for this. Um, if your your whole reasoning was just to get to to find some backbone to say, hey, I'm not coming because I can't afford it. Uh, just say that. Like, just that's say that. Way easier. Yeah. Considering they said uh, uh, the the bridezilla said they've been friends for since middle school, right? And yeah. They text every day. So 
I don't know what the fuck is wrong with that friend being faking stuff around her. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, I get it sucks saying no to your friend to not go to their wedding, but people who have destination weddings know that there's a chance that people won't be able to make it. Absolutely. And that's, um, yeah, that's, that's absolutely fair too. Yeah. And they make that, you know, they make that deal in their head. They're like, okay, some people aren't going to make it, but you know, this is where we want to do it or this is cheaper for us or whatever it happens to be. You just be straight up with them. <laughs> it's crazy. Agreed. Your boy Sean. <laughs>